I'm Kathy Brady from Brady Nursery in Wichita. Today we're going to talk about overseeding your lawn. So you need to determine if you feel you need to overseed your lawn. Um, a lot of us have little dead patches from a uh, brown patch from this summer. So you look at it and decide, do I just need small areas or I want to do the whole lawn? Um, if you're going to do the entire lawn, then you want to mow it off really short and bag the clippings or rake them off and then run a verticut machine. And this is also called a split slicer. So it slices uh, grooves in the soil. You need the seed to come in good contact with the soil. Um, and you always wanna use good seed also. Um, Garden West Premium Fescue Seed is a very high quality seed. It's a blend of five types of fescue and it has no weeds in it. So you look at that seed tag when you're buying seed. And then for overseeding, you wanna use five pounds per thousand. And for bare lawn or bare patches, use 10 pounds per thousand square feet. So once you've seeded it, then you want that seed to come in contact with the soil and then start watering. So you put out the seed and then put on new lawn starter and the starter fertilizer will get the growth uh, going in the root system. You do not want to use a high nitrogen fertilizer. You always want to use a starter fertilizer. And put it down and then we also like to use humic acid, which is a um, carbon-based product and it helps with germination and will also help dethatch the lawn. It will break down the thatch that's in the soil, so into the soil. So with the seed, then put, start watering. Um, you want to set your sprinkler, if you have one, to come on like three times a day or try to water it three times a day. And you want to keep it moist and not wet. Once your seed germinates and it's starting to grow, you start seeing a little fuzz out there of the grass coming up, then you can start to slowly cut back on the watering. So then you'll go to like twice a day and then maybe once a day. And if you have a cloudy, cool day, then you may not have to water at all because you want to keep it moist but not saturated. Having Slowing down the water makes the root system start growing looking for its own moisture. And then sharpen your mower blade. Get a nice sharp blade and go out there and mow it once it's about three inches tall. So the worst thing to me is to see lawns in, around Thanksgiving that are four or five inches tall and never been mowed because I know that yard will not survive the winter. So you need to water a little bit during the winter also. Um, you know, November and December, water occasionally so it's not dry going into the winter. And then 30 days after it started to grow and you're seeing that grass out there, you want to put on Fertilum Winterizer. And this is a high nitrogen fertilizer. Um, you put that on, you water it in good, and it will be changed into carbohydrates, which is food for the grass. It is stored in the root system during the winter, will make it green up quicker in the spring. And you always want to think about watering in the winter if we get in really dry periods. So if you have any uh, questions about your lawn, gardening, or landscaping needs, you can contact us at Brady Nursery or through Facebook or our website at BradyNursery.com.